Tonight's big story, a teenager dies of a possible drug overdose at a Valley Treatment Center and the facility is blaming his family. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Rachel McNeil and for Mark Curtis and I'm Kariba Devine. This tragic situation happened at the Canyon State Academy in Queen Creek. Police tell us that two other boys were also taken to the hospital, but they are expected to survive. Team 12's Chase Golightly has been following this incident from the start and joins us now with more. Authorities say three teenagers were rushed to the hospital Monday night for a medical emergency. Queen Creek police say one of them, a 16 year old, died at the hospital from what is being investigated as a possible drug overdose. All three were residents of Canyon State Academy in Queen Creek. Leadership at the academy telling 12 News in a statement they were roommates. Canyon State Academy looks like a private school with a football field, uniforms, and classes. But it's more than that. It's a residential treatment center to help at-risk boys. While they don't know what substance was taken, in a statement the Academy claimed it was the deceased teenager's family who supplied the drugs. Police unable to confirm that information, saying this case is still under investigation. According to records we dug up, Kenyon State Academy is contracted with the State Department of Juvenile Corrections and Department of Child Safety. The parent company, Rite of Passage, says there are two other campuses like it in the state, all focused on helping troubled teenagers. Now, if this facility looks familiar to you, it's because it used to be the Arizona Boys Ranch more than two decades ago. Another facility under different management that rehabilitated troubled teens. The Arizona Boys Ranch lost its license back in 1998 after a state investigation found workers were responsible for the death of one of its residents in 2000. Canyon State Academy moved in with new management and began operations. Meanwhile, the Academy says the two other students who were also taken to the hospital Monday night have been released as the 16-year-old's death investigation continues. In Queen Creek, Chase Golightly, 12 News.